I'm Brandy June, and you're watching The Knowledge Fairy. It's nice to meet you. But wait, where did the handshake come from? As you might have noticed from this very blatant setup, today's episode is about the handshake. Now, the handshake dates back a long time, so there is some controversy as to when it started. Some claim that the ancient Egyptians started the handshake, while archaeological evidence shows the handshake in ancient Greece as far back as the 5th century BC. And still others claim that the popular gesture was created by the Romans. However, most experts do agree that handshaking was common in the Middle Ages. In addition to sealing the deal, a handshake showed that you weren't carrying any weapons. Now you see, if two men met and they both showed their right hand, they could see that there were no weapons. Eventually this also might have led to a pat down from the elbow up to the hand to see if there were any hidden weapons. And then finally, to a shake to help dislodge any weapons that might have been hidden and tucked away. Hello medieval knight. I wonder if you're carrying weapons. I'm not carrying weapons, but maybe you're carrying weapons. We do that, you know. We carry lots of weapons sometimes. Of course I'm not. We should shake on it. I agree. We should shake on it. Why, you have manly hands. And why do we shake with our right hands? Well, in some cultures, such as Christianity, the left hand was associated with the devil. Hi, I am your left hand. And I work for Satan. Plus, with 7-10% to 10 of the population left-handed, a right-handed handshake is just generally more convenient. And some people take their handshaking very seriously. Handshaking has been studied and competitively pursued. Did you know that our 35th president, John F. Kennedy, actually commissioned a whole study on the most effective way to do a handshake when he was running for president? In 1977, New Jersey Mayor Joseph Lazaro broke the number of hands shook record previously held by Teddy Roosevelt in 1901 by shaking more than 11,000 hands in one day. And just last year, the longest handshaking record was broken in New York Times Square after 33 hours and three minutes. Initially, it started with four teams practicing really hard, but then paramedics had to get called in on one of them. Oh, and you know that little sports thing called the Olympics coming up? Well, the British Olympic Association is advising British athletes not to shake hands with VIPs or rivals in case they catch a bug and get sick. And the members of the British Olympic Association aren't the only ones who don't like handshakes. In fact, some celebrities don't like them either. If you shook Donald Trump's hand, you'd probably be fired. He even blogged about it. And there's a lot more to the handshake. So go look some stuff up. I have to go, but here's a few handshakes to get you inspired. Mwah, mwah. Mwah, kisses. <laughs>